Oh. Can't talk. Whew. That was a stinker. Well, not was. This is a stinker. No, I didn't, I didn't ride up here at all, it's hard work walking. Yeah, did they speak? No. They're a couple of prats. They've got no idea, these people. They go by, they don't even raise a hand. Get on my winkle, they do. Just a time check. Somewhere she can't hear me. We're imbued, but it's got a who? Crooklets. And we stopped here. We parked our bikes. There's our bike. There's the kettle on the pot. We're gonna have lunch here, and then we're going on to. On to Tin Touch. What's the time? Near, it's nearly two o'clock. We'll be at Tin Touch. We'll buy a four hour pass, won't we? Hey? Yeah. Eh? <laughs> no. Ah, well. So we'll get there as soon as we can. Have you eaten it already? No, you don't hang around. Alright, I'll come and join you then. The kettle's on. We've left Beaud, we enjoyed our lunch on the beach. We've got no accommodation, and where Barbara wants to get us in her optimism is 12 miles away. Well, we've walked so far from Widemouth Bay, so yeah, but we've got no B and B book. We've got nothing booked, so it's beginning to get a bit of a worry. Too tired to talk, getting depressed now. We've got this all the way and we've got no room booked. Feeling a bit chirpier now. Just asked someone, they said we're almost guaranteed to get a place at Crackington Haven. Yeah, 
Ana. Stephen, we're just posting your birthday card. If we can get it in the hole. Oh, hang on, I'll put them in first. Bit of a tight squeeze, this. Oh dear, you'll have it a bit crumpled, I'm afraid. That's it. That's it. Done it. Sunday evening, we're posting this. At? There. <laughs> Which is 1653, and we still haven't got a BMB. There's only two miles to go. Where are we, Bob? Oh, we're, we're, we've arrived at Crackington Haven. We didn't get to Tintagel. We arrived at Crackington Haven. There's nothing down here. The pub there is about £22. And we passed two B&Bs on the way in. About a mile or so, straight down to the coast. So they're, they're right the way back. Anyway, that's all there is. So we've run them and we're in. So we've got to go all the way about two miles back up the hill. Um, the evening meal in the pub next door to this tea shop is um, it starts about half past seven. And so what we're going to do, we've got some bacon in the bag. We had it for about a week. We've got a tin of baked beans. We've just bought some shop-made Cornish pasty. And we're going to have a fry up on the beach. Good as anything, I suppose. Oh, we've, just got, we've just booked our bed and breakfast but we've got to go a mile back up the hill and we're sitting here in Crackington Haven which this is it we've got to walk a mile back up the hill with two arrows on the road so what we've decided to do is have our dinner here first while we're sitting on the beach. And there it is. Zooming. My glasses are falling off my head. They are bacon and beans. Bacon. And half a pasty each. Beans? Beans. And a cup of tea to follow. Very nice. Good up. Well, that's the uh, that's the mess we're going to eat. But you don't know how nice that's going to taste. And with it, we've got a half a pasty. There's a half a pasty cut in half. And very, very peppery. It's very peppery. The, the kettle's now on.
talk about it but there's some who do it. Yeah. <coughs> oh well we press back up and walk back up that hill now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've got sunburnt today. Well you're a fool then aren't you? Yes I am a fool. I've got to be a fool to have married you. Because I've been putting suntan cream on and I'm not burnt. Your face is like a beetroot. Shut your face. You are stupid. the view out of the bedroom at the B&B, there's a name of it there, Trevelyan. I think we said earlier we cycled right past this, right down into the village. There was nothing down there and we had to come back. That's the view out the window. Looks like there's going to be a nice sunset so I'll film that later on. Barbara's in the bath at the moment, 13 pound a night, 41 miles we did and we averaged about 7 point something today and I'm not surprised. That's the sunset I was talking about. What is the time? 21.34, it's time for bed. I was sitting here playing with the radio and forgot to look out the window. There we go. Right, this is Tuesday morning. No, Monday morning at 10.34. We did 41 miles yesterday. We're looking back. Where's Barbara? Where's Barbara? Yeah, we're, we're just climbed up the hill. We're coming the difficult way today because we're pretty sure we're going to get accommodation. Everyone said go that way, but we've come this way. It's pretty difficult yesterday. Yeah, but I mean, we're going to taking the difficult choice today, aren't we? Yeah. And we're going to Boscastle, Tintagel, Tintagel Bodmin, oh. in the information centre, in the railway station. Uh, we hope to get southeast of Bodmin for a B&B. That's where we're going today. That's looking back at Crackington Haven, where we were last night. It's lovely here, but we can't dwell. Oh, but, yes. Boscastle, we've just had a cup of tea. Coming 
Lindsay onto the hole there. over there where we took the picture looking this way. We're just going to go around the other side of the harbour. This is around this way. Love you. She's going to pull down one day here. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. It really is a, oh dear, that's dodgy looking through there on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost unusual. Yeah, let's go over here. There's people everywhere, unfortunately. I think the same as they are. Up there, look. Yeah. Yeah. Right if we saw him fall, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't suppose it's as bad as it looks. Yeah. You're joking. That is as bad as it looks. 